People who live in Jackson County Summit Township are not happy about a plan to build an asphalt plant. Good evening, I'm Ann Emrek. And I'm David Andrews. Tonight, a special meeting for the Board of Trustees to vote and decide if they will rezone a piece of land for that asphalt plant. News 10's Jordan Burrell was at that very heated meeting. Joins us now from the newsroom. Jordan? Close to 200 people showed up at the meeting tonight with nearly 30 public comments. None of them were in support of this proposed asphalt plant coming to their town. I'd like to see a show of hands on everyone that says no to asphalt. No! no. A packed house in Summit Township as people voiced their concerns about a proposed asphalt plant that could be coming to the township. As elected officials, we count on you to make decisions based on our yep. behalf. Amen. Based on our behalf. Yeah. Person after person asking the board, what will living by this plant do for their health? One resident sharing her husband has been diagnosed with an incurable lung cancer from working in an asphalt plant. Now she is concerned about making his life enjoyable. Will this company make sure it's safe for the residents to breathe that have respiratory problems? Will the remainder of his life set him so that he can go outdoors and enjoy the weather? Another concern, wildlife being that the plant would border Grand River. The location here where it's going also negatively impacts the Grand River and formaldehyde, hexane, phenol, toluene, benzene, and the VOCs and PAHs are particularly harmful to frogs and fish. I'm here to speak for the frogs and fish. I'm a canoeist on that stretch of the river. Dine Comply Incorporated is working with Wilby on the plant to make sure they comply environmentally. Shara Wilcox says she's happy to see the large turnout at the meeting but they're just hungry for anything so that it's not in their backyard can't blame them um, so it, is it valid I, I can't say to that there, there weren't references it's not really valid as far as just the my knee-jerk reaction the board of trustees passed a motion at the meeting to send the proposed plant back to the Planning Commission so that they can s further study and set a public hearing. There is no set date for when or if this will come back to the board or if the plant will be built at all. Live in the newsroom, Jordan Burrell, News 10.